spatter combs, lava bombs, cinder gardens? Are we in a Star Trek movie? What crazy alien landscape is this? Did we wake up on a volcanic island in the Pacific Ocean? Nope. This is Craters of the Moon in central Idaho, a place right out of science fiction. Even the closest town of Arco has sci-fi trivia attached to it as the first community in the world ever to be lit solely by nuclear power. This strange landscape is made up of three young lava fields ranging in age from 2,000 to 15,000 years old. Deemed a national monument in 1924 by Calvin Coolidge, these lava fields are a can't miss for nature lovers and outdoor enthusiasts alike. At first glance, this black rock may look like a desolate wasteland, but Craters of the Moon is a fascinating place to explore with plenty to see and do. The park offers you a number of trails to hike, great camping and RV accommodations, night photography opportunities, and family spelunking adventures. Whether you have an hour, a day, or a week to explore this area, Craters of the Moon has something for you to do and should not be missed on any epic Idaho road trip. All right, the first stop at a cinder garden on the seven mile loop road that goes through Craters of the Moon. Do you know what cinder means, by the way? Uh, I thought it was wine in Boise, you know? Yeah, that's what I thought too. Cinder garden means a oh. garden amongst the ash and debris that is Craters of the Moon. I like the little uh, dwarf buckwheat that's in there. It's pretty cool, spotting the dark landscape. It's beautiful. It looks like snowflakes dotting a uh, volcano. It definitely looks very lunar, that's for sure. And walking on that stuff is weird. So back in the 70s, the astronauts of Apollo 14, including Alan Shepard, came to Craters of the Moon to train for their mission. And you can totally tell because this surface feels like nothing I've ever stepped on before. You actually kind of feel weightless as if you were walking on the moon. It's crazy to imagine that thousands of years ago, this was all molten lava and these spatter cones spewing up lava from the earth. It definitely reminds me of a scene from Lord of the Rings in Mordor. Yeah. I'm glad for that breeze because it really feels like a volcanic landscape right now. This lava can get up to 156 degrees Fahrenheit. You mean just to touch it like that? Yep, to the touch. Craters of the Moon has a pretty intricate cave system. This is Indian Tunnel, the biggest cave here. It's about 800 feet long. It's called Indian Tunnel because Native Americans used to use it as shelter, and you can feel why. It is about 30 degrees cooler down here. What's nice about this cave is you don't need a headlamp. These collapses in the roof have created enough natural light for you and your family to come down here and have a spelunking adventure. I really do just wanna lay down right here and take a load off, so I figure why not? How often is it you get to lay down in a lava tube? So obviously, Craters of the Moon has tons of trails to hike, caves to explore, but if you just wanna have a quick look around, you could do this seven mile loop that just cuts all the way through and all the way around the park. Nice yeah. little day trip. Easy drive. And how many miles do you run in a day? I bet you I could beat the car around this loop. <laughs> how much? Last one to camp sets up, go! I know, I really don't see why I have to do this. The bet was, last one back to camp, sets up. You were last, you set up. Did you fix me any soup? Uh, no, it'd probably be cold by the time you were done. <laughs> Smart. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Please subscribe to our channel for weekly adventures in Idaho and beyond. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. If you have any travel questions for us, we would love to see them in the comments section. And if you haven't watched Epic Idaho yet, make sure you head over to Visit Idaho and check it out. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.